Hello, hello, hello. Welcome into the Hourglass. It's great to have each and every one of you here today. Blessings, blessings. Happy birthday to all the Aries that's watching, that's viewing, that's in the house. Happy Earth Day, happy solar return. Wow. So a couple days ago, I picked up this energy shift, this energetic shift, you guys. I don't know if you felt it. I don't know if you acknowledged it, but something definitely switched on. I feel like there was a lot of enlightenment, a lot of big awareness in the collective overall. So it's like a wave of I'm hearing spiritual or healing knowledge. Something is being open. I'm seeing like the, the all seeing eye as well. So a lot of people could be very aware of their shadow energy or their shadow body. Wow. All right. In this airy season, it's all about go, go, go. So use that aggression. Use that competitive energy to fuel your goals, your visions, your dreams. Get back on track with that energy, all right? Transmit it. We all are co-creators here that's watching. Big up yourself. Big up on yourself, right? Co-creating alongside with the almighty. So do your best to transmute a lot of this energy into this fuel that keeps you going. All right. You have the power. You have the ability to create your moods. So let's see what's going on with your divine masculine, male or female. Energy is king here on the hourglass. This could also resonate with your wounded masculine energy or your distorted masculine energy that may need some sort of insight, confirmation, or healing messages at this time. If you're in a true, genuine twin flame connection, it's one soul expressing itself in two different bodies so the both of you have two different emotional needs physical spiritual mental you name it both of you have different needs here right so try to keep in mind that it's bigger than just your union. It, it's about restoring unity over the collective, all right, all through creations. You guys, this is a big job. This is a big service that you have answered the call. Your ancestors has chosen you, cycle breakers. Look at you doing all that hard, difficult, I'm hearing gr gr gruesome inside job, inner work, shadow work, you name it. All right, so let's see what's going on with your divine masculine. Equally yoked twin flame, it's recognized by the most high. So all things that you have, uh, I'm hearing, endured or overcame, <laughs> it was all ordained, honey. It was all written by the most high. It's part of your uh, service to the divine plan here. So twin flame combinations, it transcends all definition of male and female typical or program relationships, all right? What was that? Healing in your face, all in your face, all in your face, divine masculine. All right, so I'm hearing their Akashic data has went online. So for a lot of you that's... Um, experiencing this quiet this withdrawn divine masculine energy or this this experience is coming from your divine masculine peep this their akashic records or their akashic data the dna is coming online so that means they're choosing to become more available to their own heart we have a lot of healing going on with your divine masculine so if they're quiet if suddenly they withdrawn it's been years since you he heard from this person they're going through this transformational period of phase. And let me tell you, everybody heals differently. Everybody shows their recovery differently, right? That was the number 32, fives. So most of you know, most of you tarot lovers know. Mm -hmm. Tarot readers, I see you. Wink, wink. <laughs> most of you know that the number fives are very conflicted energy. It's a force. It's, um, I'm hearing... <laughs> fundamental forces is happening around your divine masculine and you divine feminine and you <laughs> so there's a lot of fine tuning that's going on here all right this time to rely on their health or their well-being something is changing with the number five some of you could be 35 as well 32 to 35 i'm seeing you could be older it's just something that i picked up all right let's clear this deck and see what's going on with your divine masculine Divine Masculine, where are you on your twin flame journey when it comes to your Divine Feminine beauty? Wow. Some of them are admiring your beauty, Divine Feminine. They have it all like 
encoded in their brain. We have preservation. Preservation, I'm sorry. I hope that you guys could see. I don't have any light on because I'm enjoying this uh, cloudy weather in Houston. Go on, big up yourself if you're in Houston. So we have the number 22 with beauty. Most of you know the 22 uh, is a light code. It's a master number for master builder's energy. We're taking a lot of lofty dreams. Your divine masculine is taking a lot of lofty dreams and creating it into their world little by little. They're enjoying the beauty of, I'm hearing, <laughs> you guys, look at this. Look what I found over the, uh, the week, the beginning of the week, a gray and white feather. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so they're taking these dreams and, you know, they're making them into solid concrete reality. Hey, some of them may be enjoying the beauty of their environment of the sea right now. Some of them could be fishermen or they're traveling on bo large bodies of ocean. Now with this beauty card, there's a lot of affection and passion that's inside of your divine masculine. If my nails would let me be great already, I'm feeling like. <laughs> the white horse is all about your divine masculine's soul right now. So they could literally be feeling a lot of inspiration through music, through art, dancing even. And they're enjoying the moments of their life right now. So if your divine masculine has been going through it, you know, a lot of tower moments, they're now starting to enjoy the present moment at this time. So big up on yourself, divine masculine, if you're in the the audience right now if you're still going through a lot of tower moments a lot of uh distorted beliefs or beliefs that no longer serve you or coming apart is falling away trust me you're gonna have a time to enjoy life again with the beauty card now there's a sense of um a lot of love affection and passion something is being mirrored back to your divine masculine all right. Some of them are starting to feel the sensation of their divine feminines soul deeply. So maybe on the, you know, in the past, it was a lot of surface level affections or passions. And now they're feeling the beauty. I, I can't even begin to express the energy that I'm picking up with this divine masculine. It's like really soul deep with this beauty card. I feel like divine feminine, you're, you are a beautiful soul. And some of your divine masculines, they ran from that either out of fear that they may break you or they may jade you. A lot of them felt like undeserving of you, unworthy. And now I feel like going through a lot of these tower moments, having to start over is what I'm hearing. They're starting to enjoy the moments that brings them this love from the divine feminine. A lot of your divine feminine has been praying about your divine masculine, and that's allowing them to come out of the physical or the surface level and more into the heart. This is heart chakra. So they're more into their heart's desires. Again, with the Akashic data being online, the DNA has been disassembled and reassembled for your divine masculine heads. What I'm picking up. Mm. I'm hearing one love one love with the beauty card so maybe that's something your divine masculine says a lot one love or this is the universal love the love for things the love of helping others you know um literally giving somebody a ride a lift uh changing somebody's tires giving uh homeless people food it's love all of that is forms of love not just between the divine feminine and the divine masculine in showing affections and appreciation but the love for all things again that akashic data the dna has been dissembled and reassembled hey it's a it's like a vast shift is what i'm getting some of your divine masculines may be enjoying moments that has to do with the sun, basking in the sun. Some of them could be sunbathing and have no freaking idea what they're doing, but they're enjoying the sunsets or the sunrise hey, in this beauty card. So a lot of your divine masculines are exp experiencing very beautiful moments that bring this sense of I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful to be here today. I overcame or I survived a lot. And now I could enjoy this moment. I could feel my heart. A lot of you divine feminine brought this heart 
energy to your divine masculine. They feel more alive. Just even thinking about you brings a sense of freedom, of free, feeling alive, of tasting, of their five senses is like activated right now because of their divine feminine. So the heart chakra, the buzzing chakra that's going on for your divine masculine is in the heart space. Some of them may be very sensitive and very emotional at this time, but with this Aries energy, that is going to give them that fiery grace, that uh, leadership energy, that I know what I want, that builder's energy. I see my vision. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to work towards it. All right. With feeling this love as the driving force here. So with the uh, preservation, hmm, 10. So some of you may have um, a significance to the number 10. 10 talks about wholeness. It talks about completion, a force that's integrating something new here. Something is coming into uh, rewards or lesson learned here. Again, if your divine masculine has been going through it with multiple tower moments, lesson learned. There's a wholeness. There's a sense of completion here with the preservation energy. So this energy is enabling your divine masculine to accept certain things about themselves and upgrade from there. They're moving. This is a lot of movement going on between these two cards as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of night energy, uh, Knight of Wands or Knight of Pentacles energy come through. If even the Knight of Swords energy come through because there's a lot of active energy between these two cards. Hey, just checking my frame there. So again, the senses of the body, the five senses, um, the motor skills, they're running here. Especially on this Aries energy of feeling like the hero, of the leader, of the ruler, of the emperor's energy as well. So whatever was destructive or was killing your divine masculine's life force, they're now starting to, again, come online to their heart's desires, their heart space. Again, recoding of the DNA, disassembling and reassembling something here. Oh my gosh. All I'm seeing is the helix. I think that's, that's how you pronounce it. The DNA strand just lighting up and just moving and healing itself. Oh my gosh, it's mysterious. So some of them may be into yoga, meditation. They could just be sitting there, uh, nature, water, wind, whatever. And it's giving them this, um, it's giving them this flexible but comfortable energy. Wow. So your divine masculine, you know, uh, I'm feeling like they're flowing. They're steadily flowing with something, whether it's the Quran. Again, they could be into dancing. They could be into art, very expressive, artistic, or their imagination is being stored, especially leaving out of the Pisces energy, whatever they create out of their imagination. It's given them a sense of joy or in, they're enjoying it every moment of it. Some of it has a lot to do with their divine feminine, divine feminine. You're this divine masculine's muse and you inspire them again with your love, your affection for life. You breathe life into this divine masculine's energy. So your divine masculine may be realizing the value of life right now. Uh, they may be kind of like moving away from the past. Some of them I'm seeing that kind of control how long they dwell on the past and concentrating more of preserving the future. So this is a very futuristic card. Hey, again, coming into this wholeness, integrating new ideas, especially from that Pisces season. Season, where there was a lot of uh, e um, imagination or imaginative ideas, very out of this world, putting them together, inspiration, jotting these idea ideas down, and now making them concrete, making them solid and a reality with these two cards. Hey, wow. So there's an expansion of integrity for some. They may feel like they're quiet or they need to quiet down to kind of hone in this energy as well. So if your divine masculine was up in their head a lot, I feel like they're trying to balance the head and the heart, understanding how uh, they need these two powerful, uh, what's the word? They need these powerful tools to in, endure, no, enjoy their dreams and their passions while moving forward. There's a sense of fulfillment, some sort of fantasy of their divine feminine. I keep seeing like every time I close my eyes, there's an image of a divine feminine. So divine, divine feminines, your divine masculines, every time they close their eyes, they see you. They see your beautiful aura. It's like they can't escape it. There's a lot of sensuality, a lot of pleasure that they're experiencing. They're desiring a family for some of you. They want to share their emotions with some of you. 
but most of all, they're indulging in a lot of fantasies. <laughs> so I'm going to run with that. There's a lot of indulging in the fantasies and they're feeling it in five, in all five senses, the mind, body, and soul. So your divine masculine is in this energy of love, affection, and passion, enjoying life, the very sensual sensitivity, pleasure coming with the perseverance wanting to be fulfilled. There's a lot of futuristic energy. So let's see how they're viewing their selves. You know, because this could be waves of enjoyment, waves of passion, waves of love, fantasy. It could just be waves. So let's how they see, feel them, feel, let's how, let's see how they feel about themselves. The core feelings here. What are the core feelings here for this divine masculine? Keep in mind, you guys, not all divine masculine energy taps is going to resonate with you. And that's okay. And if it does, well, she. <laughs> core emotions of this divine masculine stressed he want that s-e-x that's plain that's plain that's some old reggae shit so your divine masculine may feel very pressured there's a lot of intense or there's tense shoulder muscles uh i'm feeling like all in the neck so some of them could have been mm, Okay, so I'm feeling like the thighs, maybe some of them are working out as well. If you have a divine masculine as a female getting up on her squats, buffing out, toning out, cutting out. But there's a lot of tense energy. I feel like it's frustration as well. There may be some neck pressure or tense in the neck as well. That's repressed energy. So even though your divine masculine may be feeling all of this love, affection, it's repressed and that's giving them a very stiff neck. All right, some of them could be truckers and their body's really stiff and they're not being able to stretch. Like I said, yoga is very, it's a cool practice to stretch that energy out, all right? I'm feeling like because they're possibly not speaking to their divine feminine and if some of you are experiencing uh, communication, your divine masculine is not fully expressing themselves and therefore they're, they're still locking down their authentic self possibly due to self-trust issues because we do have the heart chakra and that's feeling like a pressure cooker that's feeling like the pressure is building for some of you your divine masculine is very very sexually frustrated so even though they're seeing people some of them may be married you may know the deal if it's not resonate, don't try to fit it. Don't try to give yourself extra anxiety or work yourself up. But for some of them, they're just not, meet, nobody could meet this level of intimacy or sexual satisfaction, but their divine feminine. If you have been in um, sexual relations with your divine masculine and they may try to move on or you guys are in long distance uh, relationships, you guys may have mutually decided to give this thing a break and they try to move on or try to get more intimate because of these needs. They're finding out that there's no pleasure that satisfy them that they're divine feminine. Some of them are literally envisioning you while they're having sex with other people and they're feeling a, a sense of a level of shame and guilt right after that uh, that nut is like really superficial. And then again, this is where they go into this understanding of consequences learned with the number 10 is like damn i really gave in to like superficial pleasures but then when i went through it is my divine feminine my heart calls out for her you know or him and it's like after the deed is done they feel a sense of shame a sense of guilt all right so some of them may be going through cheaters anxiety or they're going through a healing process when it comes to cheating those of you that know that your divine masculine has a history of cheating or being this playboy or playgirl again with the dna disassembling and reassembling there's a healing washing over that cheaters program all right there's a lot of fire, a lot of passion with the fire underneath the kettle. I feel like that water that's being boiled in the kettle is going through a purification phase or process. Let's see how they're feeling about their divine feminine. They're confused. They're confused. Some of you may have literally pulled all your affections away from this divine masculine and it's leaving them bewildered it's leaving them like puzzled some of them are like obsessively stalking you because you're just so beautiful your soul is so beautiful it's like who else is seeing this you know what i'm saying they're sitting there like who else is seeing my divine feminine's beauty who else is checking for them all right 
We have resentful as the overall energy. Consequences learn with the number 10. Some of them may be really bitter. Again, feeling embarrassed for their toxic behaviors or giving in to superficial pleasures. So they're feeling very resentful. This has nothing to do with you, Divine Feminine, but looking into these types of spread helps us heal that part of us so we could help heal our twin, uh, twin lover here as well, as well. So they may be feeling very bitter, very resentful, Again, some of you may have literally pulled away your affections. You're no longer showing like big admiration. I'm hearing like big, um, what is that word? I'm hearing some of your divine feminines pulled away from showing how much you want your divine masculine. So maybe you're moving out of a like pursuing type of energy, that masculine energy of pursuing things as well. And now you're in your divine feminine energy where you're ready to receive. So your divine master is confused, especially for those of you that was given, 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 given. You were in that masculine energy of wanting to give, 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 and they have, they may have been in this feminine energy of taking, receiving, receiving. So some of you kind of caught on or you're completely burnt out and now you're pulling back. So they're confused on how to approach you. The pressure is building up here as well. They're feeling a bit resentful for their own toxic behaviors that lesson learned, consequences that they have reaped. Hey? All right. So they're going through multiple um, awareness hey, is what I'm picking up. So let's bust down the tarot. Let's go with this one today. Let's bust down the tarot and see what's going on here. Who are the key characters in this story? I'm hearing over and over. I don't know if it's a song, but I'm hearing I can't get over you. I can't get over you. I can't get over you. I don't know. What is that? We have the Eight of Pentacles. And this is what I felt with disassembling and reassembling. This talks about hard work. Your, your divine masculine could be a workaholic right now, and they're under a lot of stress with deadlines, with uh, just waking up their routine. It's, it's doing a toll on this divine masculine, and now they don't have your emotional support or your love or your affections is creating even more frustration. It's And then they're repressing their self uh, expression or expressing their needs for you, their heart desires. And that's creating even more stiffness in the neck. All right. There's a little bit of, um, Ooh, what is this? I'm feeling. Okay. So I'm hearing that they're, um, depriving themselves of pleasure with their divine feminine. So this could be, you know, uh, reluctant or resistant to tell you how they feel, how much they miss you and all of that pent up energy. They're pulling it through work. They're pushing it through their work, but it's causing the body to be extremely stiff. Hey? And I feel like for some of you, if you're a masseuse or you're somebody that, you know, really like to touch, you're really a feely divine feminine. Every time you're around your divine masculine, you have to touch them. They miss that. Believe it or not, that did a lot. That kind of like lift a lot of heaviness off of their body. So with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm feeling like they're moving things around. They may be doing a lot of things with their hands, but I'm also seeing that DNA energy. This is a tree that's beginning to show its uh, fruits here. So hard work pays, and I feel like your Divine Master may be very frustrated. They may be overworking themselves, trying to meet some sort of um, financial goal here. They really want to work on this situation or they're working on their bitterness here as well. They feel very closed off or they're closing their heart space off to you, Divine Feminine, but they're still watching. They're still watching. Some of them are really like, <laughs> there goes the Emperor. That Aries energy, very stubborn, headstrong, Divine Masculine you guys are dealing with. Somebody that likes things their way. They like to be in the lead hey, as well. And I feel like their ego may be getting the best of them or their nerves. Something is pinching me on my neck. Like I'm feeling like neck tension. You know when you sleep very awkwardly at night and you wake up and your neck is like pinching the fuck out of you? It's like they have to keep their neck in one uh, position. Get out of here, Divine Masculine. So I'm definitely feeling like they feel very very um, left out like you're not it's like why are you not paying attention to this to this this I'm hearing like they are so arrogant like 
how could you not, how could you ignore someone like me type of energy? So the divine masculine is showing up in their emperor's energy. Hello, Aries. It's time. It's time to make a move. It's time to bust a move. Wow. They are in this fantasy of the divine feminine and it's building that pressure. Resentful because things are not going their way. That's their ego. That's their ego. All right, so let's see what's going on. You guys are playing too much. <laughs> Some of your divine masculines may be CEO. They may be private contractors or independent contractors. But right now, they feel like they're ruling. They're ruling their, their world right now. They're sitting on top of something that they may have uh, achieved here as well with the emperor's energy. And that is the builder's energy for me, is the emperor's energy, all right? So, you know, even though they're doing their thing, they're still open to the divine feminine coming through as well. But they want things on their terms for the emperor's energy. In this builder's energy with the emperor. I'm also hearing, I can't get over you. I can't get over you. So with the emperor's energy, that energy is here to stay. All right? This is like a bond between the both of you that's here to stay with that emperor's energy. <laughs> Some of you could feel this emperor's energy really strong. You know, some of you pick up this person's energy. Yep, with the five of swords. Yeah. They're embarrassed for what they did here that caused you to walk away. It gave you no choice but to walk away. Three of cups. So your divine masculine may be very, I'm hearing like they like to gossip or they like to know what other people is doing. They like to know what's trending, what's going on in their community with the three of cups. But what I'm definitely picking up is they're missing their divine feminine emotional support. Some of them are planning with this preservation energy. They have this fantasy of meeting you in some sort of futuristic uh, time and space. It's like they indulge. They're moving away from something that in the past caused them a lot of heartbreak or embarrassment and I feel like that was the five of cups energy. So they could be moving away or they're, you know, uh, they're not dwelling on the way how they acted to cause a divine feminine to move away. They're just concentrating on this futuristic meeting and there I go with the belching already. <laughs> I hate that, you guys. I'm totally sorry if that grosses you guys out because it grosses me out. All right. So with the Empress energy, Empress of fours, mm -hmm. solid, I'm hearing solid, concrete concentration. They're thinking about the when you guys are going to meet in the future. They're preparing uh, to meet you on in the future with some sort of deep, deeper commitment. I'm also hearing that they're celebrating something, hey, something that was achieved in this emperor's energy, or they feel very celebrative, even though it's a wave. At times, they get they get really like impressed with themselves, is what I'm hearing. Some of you, this could have a third party situation that's going on that would, would gossip. So this third party could be somebody that they care about, like family, that's always gossiping to them, giving them kind of like dark thoughts from this gossip leaving them confused so we have the nine of cups this is talking about more self-pleasure i'm telling you some of your divine masculine may be very indulgent in very rich foods they could be indulgent in a lot of drinks they could be associating or partying or celebrating some sort of win or success with some sort of family or friends that they consider family hey? but even though they're with these people they're still thinking about their divine feminine. Like I said, every time they close their eyes, boom, there you go. There you are. There you are. I'm hearing Usher, there goes my baby. There goes my baby. Ooh, mm, look at you. Mm -hmm. There goes my baby. But they're still bitter because they're in this empress energy. They feel like you should be gravitating toward them. They feel like in this, you know, very fiery, phallic -y, sexy energy that you should be attracted back to them. Believe it or not, divine feminine. So with this nine of pentacles, uh, sorry, nine of cups, three of cups, it's a lot of emotion. So again, with the stirring of affections, of a passion, of emotional love, they're feeling it. They're feeling it, divine feminine. And this fantasy is just like, 
some of them get really really wasted or lit and they just indulge in a lot of fantasy a lot of sexual energy being pent up here mm -hmm. okay so I just heard shock on the loose. So we have the eight of swords. So right now, your divine masculine may be feeling very confined. They may be feeling like right now, whatever they have going on, they can't see a way out of it. But yet still, in their imagination, in their fantasies, they have a solution. So maybe they dwell in a lot of fantasies or they concentrate on a lot of fantasies with their divine feminine because it brings a sense of solution, even though in the reality, it's not that it's not it's not available to them and this stresses them out so when they fall off or when that fantasy kind of like dissipate uh fades away i feel like they they feel in this eight of swords energy where they feel very imprisoned or restricted some of their are in prison and they're feeling very emotional very sensitive right now some of them could be self-pleasuring themselves if they're confined or restricted from their divine feminine i'm also feeling like in this gossiping energy there's a lot of criticism and slander they may be talking to a, a very emotional person or a lot of people are in their emotions around their divine masculine and it's causing this feel of uh, like, I don't know, it feels like they're being victimized somehow here. So I don't know if the people that they're, you know, holding close to them or they're hanging out with, they're very emotional about something as well. And this is causing your divine masculine some sort of victimizing energy or feeling. It's encouraging them to feel helpless. So I don't know if somebody's confiding in your divine masculine, they could be crying over something that happened with them in some sort of love situation and it's causing them to feel victimized in some way. Um, I feel like when they do think about their divine feminine and the love they feel, they feel very trapped. Both of you may be feeling very trapped as well. And this is causing some sort of misery and keeping your divine masculine silent in that eight of swords as well and this is confusing because one minute they feel like so open and full with the love of their divine feminine and then when the emotions get too overwhelming or when reality sets in they feel a sense of trapped feeling a sense of paralyzed by fear by anxiety and again this is why they repress this feels like a lot of repress of their self-expression divine feminine so even though they feel it they're not really stepping into their authentic self because of feeling victimized in some way. But I feel like there's a lot of gossip going on here. Maybe somebody around them is talking about how someone did them wrong and how fuck love and all that stuff. And this is creating some sort of fear in your divine masculine. And they're not wanting to step into that emotion in front of these people. It's a lot of criticism here. They could be talking to a watery sign, a cancer that's very uh, pessimistic as well. We have temperance. Wow. So this is what I felt with the wholeness with the number 10 as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Temperance is another number five. So we did see five. In the beginning with healing and now we have five with the temperance which also talks about healing this talks about a meditative energy this stillness so your divine masculine at this time with the temperance energy they're finding their purpose slowly but surely under all of these emotions that they don't express so with their divine feminine even though they feel trapped in the situation and it's very fearful or a lot of anxieties they're feeling a sense of purpose with temperance so divine feminine, it feels, okay, maybe, just maybe, because temperance could also talk about um, this fulfillment, this wholeness, right? But it also talks about the flowing of the consciousness. So remember I was talking about the water in the kettle. Now we have this water here with fire and we have water with fire here. So some of you may be dealing with a water fire combination, or this is just the energy, the, em the elements that you guys are, um, going through right now or working with. So I definitely feel like there is something being purified here. All right. Your divine masculine may have addictions here with alcohol or they, uh, really party hard. It's like, they're not a party animal, but when they party, they go fucking hard. 
all right? And they may be kind of like getting over that hangover and they need time to like regroup or they need time to like heal, <laughs> recover. Something made them feel pressured. I don't know if they're around people that is pay pressure into this person or they have to put on this mask. So maybe when they have like a victory to celebrate or something great happen, they put on this mask like they could drink and they really drink harder. They go hard. Hey, feeling very celebrative. You know, temperance could talk about holiday uh, energy. It could also talk about unions for the twin flame because we have this union energy. All right going on here we see the fire and the water going into one cauldron making this mixture making this union here as well so there's a sense of hmm having to purify themselves hey maybe a lot of your divine masculines is starting to see things that are blocking them blocking their purpose with temperance We have the king of wands. That's that fire energy we we're talking about. So yeah, with the king of wands energy. Now this is a very tricky energy because even though they have this go getters energy, they go get they go after their self pleasures. It's a lot of self pleasures with the nine of cups. They may be also feeling like you you give them a sense of purpose, a sense of direction. You give them emotional fulfillment or wish fulfillment as well, divine feminine. But with this king of wands energy and feeling trapped and having to like kind of I'm here re rebuke rebuke some people in their life I'm feeling like Empress energy, entrepreneur energy, natural born leader type of energy. So your divine masculine is stepping into their natural born leadership energy. They may feel like right now they're overcoming and achieving a lot of changes in their life. So they're feeling like, yeah, I'm that person that go gets what I want. But when it comes to their divine feminine, it's like, I'm trapped. I feel restricted. I feel like I have to compose myself. But again, that blocks out that authentic nature, divine masculine. What are you, what are you having trust issues here with? It's almost like they don't trust the mask that, okay, it's, it's, it's what I'm getting here is even though they wear a mask, to kind of adapt to whatever is going on around them, they cannot wear that mask with their divine feminine. It feels uh, very awkward or it feels like they just can't do that. So if you're seeing them party, if you're seeing them express themselves smiling more with other people, it's because they could adapt to that. They could chameleon to that. But when it comes to you, they have to really be authentic. And this is something that they feel very fearful of doing. So it's really different when it comes to their divine feminine. They act or they they have to be their true selves when it comes to their divine feminine. And that's something that they have not yet learned, um, to kind of feel comfortable in or grasping. So for some of you, your person may be very, your divine masculine may be very, uh, bullyish with the king of wands could be very impulsive. For some of you, uh, you may have a divine masculine that had a masculine figure that when they drink, they were very abusive. So your divine masculine may have kind of like channeled or adapt that, that sense of conditioning. So they may not drink. Some of them may be afraid to drink because of somebody in their life that when they drank, they became very abusive. So your divine masculine, see, that's what I'm saying. Hey, some of them are hanging around people that indulge a lot in alcohol and they get really crazy and rowdy, but they like to be around that. But at the same time, they feel very victimized because of it. So some of them may be feeling like with this temperance, it's time to let that go. It's time to stop dwelling on these, um, familiar behaviors because it's bringing me nothing but victim mentality or feeling like I'm trapped, like I'm stuck. I'm restricted, but really I feel like this go-getter's energy of um, going after my vision, pursuing my vision, my fantasies, wanting some sort of, I'm also hearing adrenaline rush. So your divine masculine could be very extreme, hey? Now we have the king of pentacles. I want to see what that card is and the prince or the page of cups. So. But we have two different divine masculines or your divine masculine may be shifting into this 
king of pentacles it's the knight in this deck because i feel like the person that created this deck wanted the, the kings to be very active but it's actually kings i know it says knights and remember i talked about knights right knight of wands knight of pentacles but it's actually kings in this deck all right so even though i mentioned it and the card says it it's actually kings so your divine masculine um is very serious they have like this serious solid energy with the kings very knowledgeable all kings are very knowledgeable very noble or honorable in their own sense so i feel like they're trapped in some uh, obligations. Your divine masculine may have worked really hard for what they have right now established. Some of them may be parents and they're working on creating an environment, a legacy where their kids could fall back on. Kids may be very important to this divine masculine be that we have a page head. They may have a water sign or earth or fire sign children that um, they want to remain uh, active or present in their life. This is one of their priorities, but at the same time, they feel very stuck or restricted because of it. Uh, your divine masculine has a way with words. I feel like they do think about the things you guys talk about. They're very closed off to these emotions right now. So maybe they separate in their emotions from uh, their go-getters energy feeling like right now uh, emotions or uh, uh, signs of affection may be a distraction here with the king of pentacles mm -hmm. so they may get very impulsive around these group of friends we have two kings this may be same sex as well doesn't have to be but i'm seeing here that some of you divine feminines may be in your masculine energy as well like in this king of pentacles energy where um, and you know, take it, take it how it resonates is the genders or the roles could flip flop. Hey, so most of you may be in your King of Pentacles energy. That's causing you to be very reserved. I'm seeing that some of your divine feminines are really, um, prioritizing your, your empire. I'm feeling a lot of wealth coming from this King of Pentacles. You may be in your business attitude or your business savvy right now, and you're putting a lot of hard work with the eight of Pentacles. So the both of you are putting in work, but in two different ways. I feel like if your divine masculine is in the King of Wands, they're in this natural born leadership energy. They're going after things that are wish fulfillment, things that they desired for a long time. They're on the edge about it. Some of you divine feminines may be in the king of pentacles energy where you have a lot of resources. You're more family oriented right now. Um, you're very dependable and you're reaching these goals. So the both of you, again, in this masculine energy, maybe overcoming a lot of these challenges that you face. I feel like the king of wands may be some of your divine masculine where they're very edgy and extreme right now, indulging in a lot of self pleasures. Some of them that's still in this third party the energy they're still indulging in it but at the same time they're kind of picking up this temperance energy where they, they wanted to for some of them they may have somebody on the side that really cares about your divine masculine or that's very emotional needy towards your divine masculine and i feel like they're kind of feeling trapped with that person and therefore thinking about releasing this person or purging this person out of their life that's for some of you with the temperance energy because it doesn't fit with their purpose that they have right now. So I feel like they may be inspired to kind of let go a lot of um, friends that they think they're supporting or uh, outside relations that they think were supportive in the beginning, but it's not. I'm also hearing that they don't have time for a third party uh, anymore. It, it, it doesn't fit with their purpose with temperance is what I'm hearing. For some of you, your divine masculine let go of a third party just when you decided to pull back your energy and now they're confused. They're confused and I'm not saying this for you to run and you know convince them or show them that they made the right choice. But for some of them, they feel confused because they feel like they may have pushed somebody out that was emotionally needy. Now, they felt a sense of affection from this person but they're very needy and controlling and that puts your divine masculine in this trapped energy and they don't like that it felt suffocating and they don't like that this person may have wanted to know what your divine masculine were doing at all times they felt very imprisoned by this person could have been a sagittarian doesn't have to be sagittarian with a lot of water um doesn't have to be all right 
It could be that they were just very emotionally needy and your divine masculine may have felt like that was not part of their purpose. To have somebody that's always draining them, always wanting their time and their affection when they have other things to overcome here. So with the page of cups, hmm, again, with that dreamy fantasy energy, feeling very lustful, feeling very charming when they think about their divine feminine, wanting to send you very loving messages, but holds it back. They're not graceful enough is what I'm hearing. Some of them may feel like a toad, a frog. We have death. And the Four of Swords. All right. Yeah. They had a very important decision to make. And I felt like, again, lessons learned. So maybe in the past when they had this third party, whatever, it could be friends. It could be family that was very emotionally needy. They were always kind of like dependent on your, divi your divine masculine. And that was taking a toll. So it could feel like energy vampires was amongst your divine masculine. And now they're seeing the truth here. They're seeing what is truly purposeful i'm hearing purposeful and appealing to their authentic nature because every time i see lovers i think about uh authenticity or being your authentic selves all right making choices that uh add to your authenticity here so we have death so there could have definitely been an ending they're deciding to end a way of living could be for a long time and there's the helix the helix i, I feel like that's that's the name see it's right there Again, they're disassembling and reassembling something here, ending a part of them that was very familiar, possibly very hard to kind of put away. So I feel like they have nailed the coffin shut. They're burying something for good here. Four of Swords, they may need to kind of withdraw. Again, they're feeling very restricted and trapped. For some of them, it was a bittersweet uh, decision that they made. So they may be feeling really down or exhausted from that. But they know that it was the best choice to make. And here we go with union, with temperance and the lovers. This is what this archangel or Orisha is doing. Maintaining the balance between the twin flame lovers kind of like paving the way for you guys, being that guardian, that protection, that uh, angelic or celestial protection while you guys go through your path, while you guys overcome a lot and achieve a lot. So there is protection over you divine feminine and you divine masculine to come into union. I feel like a lot of the divine feminines are really mature and seasoned at this time. You guys may have given yourself closure. Some of you may have given yourself closure, decided to kind of pull away or quote unquote give up. And you're in this four of swords energy as well, where you're deciding to pull away and rest, give this thing a rest. For some of you, you have decided to bury it. You're burying your emotions here with the death, but there's transformation that's going on, you guys. There is a deep transformation that's going on. There's closure. There's new horizon. There's renewal. There's purification with death. I felt it here with the kettle. Purification. Purification. Divine time. And you guys are going to see the truth. Some of you are seeing the truth in your dreams. And it's causing you to feel trapped. It's causing you to feel like stuck. Some of you were ready to move on. And then you got this dream. A very beautiful dream of love and affection. Beautiful, beautiful dream. And it got it has you stuck now. <laughs> That's because some of you, you know, you may be, I feel for some of you, whoever whoever power is overseeing you guys' connection, that that higher power is giving you answers in your dream. So if you wanted to leave, if you if you thought that this was just not what you want is too much and you wanted to give yourself closure. I feel like some of you had a beautiful dream. Could even be about pregnancy. Maybe some of you dreamt that you were pregnant. Hey, and it left you like stunned and stuck. Like, what do I do now? I had this beautiful dream of me and my divine mass. And some of you even marriage in white dresses, in tuxedos. And it's like, what the fuck do I do now? This dream was just so beautiful and vivid. What do I do now? Praying for an answer here. Let's talk about that page of cups, please. Close this up. Nine of Pentacles. Overall energy, the star, more healing energy and guidance. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> 
some of you are getting some shmoneys, all right? Some of you are going to get some shmoneys. Some of you have been working really hard, divine masculine, divine feminine, and you're going to be rewarded. Consequences here and rewards, healing, a lot of guidance. The stars are aligning. There's a spiritual event that's going on with this transformation. As well, with your divine masculine, they're starting to see what is uh, pleasure with purpose is what I'm hearing. They're being more purposeful, okay? And this is helping them to heal. We have a lot of healing cards, a lot of needing to be still and rest, divine timing, patience with temperance, four of swords, time to recover. There's something that's coming forward. Somebody's going to act very independently, divine masculine, if that's you, with the nine of pentacles, having this achievement or wanting to achieve something very sexual or something very love in hand with the divine feminine. Page of cups. Yeah. So in the past, if your divine masculine was disappointing and it caused a lot of resentment, it's because they were trying to be very independent with their goals. Hey, some of them has achieved that. They're right now very fulfilled. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles. They're very fulfilled. They feel very content. They're enjoying where they're at right now. And therefore they wanted to express themselves with love, but they're confused. They're confused about how to do this. They want to come in very like a uh, lead, like a leadership, like not leadership, but a leader. They want to come in very forceful with the emperor, but they're feeling like that's, that's just not the way to do this. So they're feeling trapped about that, not knowing how to come in and bring some sort of success between the both of you. They want, they have the confidence. They feel very celebrative with the three of cups temperance. They feel uh, very optimistic about union, but they feel like they're going to shatter something here with the nine of cups. They feel like if they come in very boastful and arrogant, they're going to shatter this dream, this fantasy. So they stay back because they're very arrogant. You know, look at me. You know, you should be drawn to this. <laughs> Yeah, they're experiencing a lot of good news or a lot of success right now. And I feel like it's giving them the confidence to come by to come to their divine feminine. But they're confused on the right way to do this. They don't want to shatter a fantasy here. And I feel like they may want to tell you how much they have overworked themselves or over invest. And then they want to get straight into charming you or being very uh, flirtatious or sexual with you. For some of you, they want to get you pregnant or they're wanting to know if you are pregnant, if you haven't spoke to them in a while. Some of them may want to tell you some good news about a new car, a new home, or they want to invest in a new car, in a new home with their divine feminine. It's a lot of prosperity and wealth coming from the king of pentacles, the nine of pentacles feeling very loving. Let's see what else they want to tell you. A couple cards and then we close it out. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, go on, big up yourself. Hit that like button, smash it. <laughs> like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys so much for your tips, your donations to the free readings. Hey, on the hourglass. All right, let's see. I'm probably sounding like a parent right now and I can appreciate that is a turn off. Yeah, there are a parent. Some of your divine masculines are parents and they take that role very seriously. I felt like they may have had a very um, damaging parental figure. You are precious and you deserve to be treated that way. Yeah, they don't want to come in very forceful and arrogant. They don't want to smash or shadow a dream here. So they're taking their time looking for a solution. I'm supposed to know what to do. Sorry. I supposed to know how to do this, but honestly, I have no idea. I'm telling you, I can see that I've missed a point. Can you, I could see that I missed the point. Please give me another chance. Yeah. They want you, they know that you gave yourself closure and on your own beat and they want to come in a lot of good things. Great things has been happening to them, but they may feel your resentment or your resentful energy. You're very offended by this person's actions, your divine masculine's actions, but they have been doing a lot of guidance, healing, or there's a lot of healing knowledge that is pushing your divine masculine to make more uh, love based choices or, you know, having purpose to their authentic nature. They're choosing to let go of a lot of things that are not purposeful in their life, including in a third party that has been attached to some sort of self-pleasure, very superficial pleasure here as well. They're moving past that. It's no longer uh, fitting with their purpose is what I'm keep hearing. Whatever is not fitting with their purpose, they're letting it go. 
all right but they just don't know how to come into you they just don't know how to uh so they're trying to track you they're trying to pull your energy in some of them could be very obsessive and they're understanding that this obsessive energy is not cool and they're trying to uh, wash that out because that's coming from the ego of the emperor that obsessive energy is coming from the ego of the emperor wanting to control things and they don't want things to be that way they want it to be meaningful they want it to flow very steadily between the both of you so i'm going to leave it there i hope you guys did enjoy this energy tap of your divine masculine in this aries season the beginning of aries go on big up yourself and i'll see you guys in another channel message chat to you guys later ciao